Well, hi again, everybody, and as always, welcome to high school basketball on WSN. Tonight, we're in the walk-in closet at Spencerville High School as we have an incredible non-conference matchup tonight as the Delta St. John's Blue Jays take on the Spencerville Bearcats. Great to have you guys here tonight. John Zerby with Josiah Stober, and Josiah, this is a really cool matchup. Typically, when we talk about rivalries, we're talking about Delta Jefferson and Spencerville, but this is a great rivalry team Delta St. John's and the Bearcats. Yeah, you know, two teams, you know, not in the same conference, you know, but know each other very well. You know, you know, kind of circle this game on the calendar yeah. because both teams, you know, solid programs, really good players, have yeah. a lot of good storylines tonight, especially a lot of brothers <laughs> playing uh, for both teams. So should be an exciting game tonight. Well, it's interesting. Delta St. John's comes into this game 13-2. and They're really in control, 5-0 and in the Midwest Athletic Conference. What are some important things tonight, some keys for them to be successful in this game? Yeah, talking to Coach Elwer, you know, he talked about just handling the back-to-back -back games, having a close game last night that ended on a last-second shot by Cam Elwer, you know, and then coming back and facing a really good team in Spencerville, just handling the back-to-back -back games. You know, they got a rebound. You know, Spencerville has the size advantage down low. They have to find ways to box out as a team and get those boards. And then finally, you know, just execute offensively. Yeah. Yeah, they know, you know, Spencerville has been clicking on the defensive end as of late. You know, they got to find ways to get the ball in the net. Yeah, very good. And so we look, talk about Spencerville now, 4-0 in the Northwest Conference. They come into this game 11-3, a big matchup for them on a non-conference night. What are some things that they have to do to be successful? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and we talked about it. You know, this St. John's team loves to shoot from beyond the arc. Yeah. You know, Coach Sensball talked about they got to be able to defend that three-point line. St. John's has some really good shooters on this team. They want to make sure that they're close and closing out or closing out with a hand high on those shooters. You know, being patient. You know, this team likes to run, but in that half-court set, they want to make sure they're getting the ball inside, which leads to the third point. You know, use that size advantage. Get the ball into Carter Orr, Carter Sudoff. Use that strength and size to their advantage. Uh, it's going to be a fun one tonight. It's the top of the Midwest Athletic Conference against the top of the Northwest Conference, and it's right here on WSN. You're going to be watching high school basketball. It's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays and the Spencerville Bearcats here in just a few moments on WOSN. Welcome back to high school basketball. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? You can call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Matt's Heating and Cooling, our scoreboard sponsor tonight. Welcome back to Spencerville High School as we are getting ready for this Saturday night non-conference affair. I'm John, he's Josiah, and we are excited to bring you Delta St. John's in Spencerville tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and take a moment and talk a little bit about this matchup. And one of the things we talked about, Josiah, it's interesting as the, both teams have coaches, Coach Aaron Elwer and Coach Kevin Sensabaugh, and both coaches have sons that play. And it's going to be an interesting matchup to see this dynamic of these two families compete against each other. Yeah, absolutely. You know, these two, all these players know each other. They've all played <laughs> on traveling teams together. So they're very familiar with how they each other play. And, you know, just want to mention, too, you know, with Cam Elwer, something we're going to talk about probably tonight, comes into this game as a sophomore with 963 points on the year, would need 37 tonight. To, to reach that barrier of a 1,000. So wow. we'll be tracking that tonight <laughs> as the project goes. But as you said, a lot of storylines here tonight. And it's January. January. January of his sophomore year. My goodness. All right. Let's take you to the starting lineups right now. We'll first start with Delphi St. John's. Their starting lineup tonight, uh, number five, Colin Feathers. And that name we talked about a little bit ago, Cameron Elwer, number 11. That's the one we're going to keep an eye on. Austin Munster, number 12. Andrew Elwer, number 23. The younger brother, Cam Elwer, he's the freshman. And then finishing out the starting lineup, number 33, Aaron Munter, coached by Aaron Elwer. Let's move to the Bearcats of Spencerville. And again, that Sensible family dynamic. Will Sensible, number two. Evan Osteen, number five. Owen Sensible went off for 27 last night. Interesting to see how he performs tonight as well. We'll be on the lookout for that. Carter stood off in the middle, number 23. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Bearcats, number 24, Carter Orr. This place is rocking. This place is filled up. It's a fun environment for a Saturday night game. Yeah, you know, looking forward to this game. You know, we'll see which team, as you said, both teams played last night. Big conference games. Should be an exciting one tonight. Three good officials tonight. Scott Steinbrenner, B.J. McFerrian, and Stephen McRae will go ahead and give us the tip. And it's going to be Carter Sudoff and Aaron Muncher. 
and Delphi St. John's will maintain possession. Here he is, Cam Elwer, the sophomore sensation, will get things rolling for the Blue Jays. Munter inside. Kicks it back out. This is Andrew Elwer with the basketball. Yeah, we see Evan Osting matched up against Cam Elwer. A strong take early. Good there, block there by Carter Orr. At least changed the shot of Cam Elwer, and it's back. Sensiball goes up for two. Owen Sensiball gets things started on the mat, seating and cooling scoreboard for the Bearcats. Two to zero. Cam Elwer right back down the floor. We've seen Owen Sensiball score 27 points last night, our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner as Cam Elwer gets Delphi St. John's on the mats heating and cooling scoreboard. And Cam Elwer can do a little bit of everything for this Blue Jay team. You know, known for his shot, but likes to drive, use that strong frame he has, about six foot, six foot one frame to go to the rim. And another attack there by number 13, Owen Sensible. It was a broken record last night, but Owen Sensible taking the ball to the rim. He, we know he can shoot on the outside as Evan Hosting makes a nice deal for the Bearcats and Carter Sudoff comes up with it. But all 27 points in the paint last night for Owen Sensiball, his first four there as well. Osteen, a deep triple try, just a little bit short. Carter Orr is going to come down with the rebound. Bearcats are going to get it inside to Carter Sudoff. Sudoff kicks it back out to Owen Sensiball. Back to Sudoff. Sudoff double teamed and a nice steal by Austin Munter. Yeah, St. John's doing a good job of hedging down on that post play. Carter Sotov has a little bit of the size advantage. Got to learn to play around, but a great take there by Aaron Munter. Yeah, Aaron Munter, good-looking play there. That pushes the lead, or excuse me, the score to 4-4 four to four on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. It's Evan Osteen over to Carter Orr. Inside to Carter Sotov. St. John's going to have to keep an eye on Carter Sotov, and boy, Sotov looks good inside. Yeah, and we'd like to see, you know, Sudoff get some touches down there using that size advantage. One of the things Spencerville talked about, one of their keys, got to get the ball inside, use that size advantage, make St. John's come down and defend them. So Aaron Munter going to take the deep triple try, and Aaron Munter, wow, he hits the Ricker lawn in landscape three-point attempt. Yeah, that's the counter there. Not a whole lot of size there, but can step outside and knock down the three making Sudoff come outside of that paint and defend it. And we got Sudoff once again down low, back to Owen Sensible. So Owen Sensible going to take the ball to the hole, and he's going to draw a foul and get himself to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, as we see here on the Road State College replay here, Sudoff passes it out to Owen and once again just attacks the rim, draws some contact. As you said, an opportunity to step to the free throw line. This is his first opportunity, but he's going to get a second here as Coach Aaron Elwer yelling out instructions and the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. And he converts on his second attempt. All tied up here at Spencerville High School on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. Will Sensiball playing aggressive defense on Austin Munter. And Aaron Munter going to have a free lane and a nice easy layup there for the Blue Jays. Yeah, we see the St. John's kind of adjust, knowing that they're not going to help off of Cam Elwer. Munter gets the screen, goes right to the rim, and a turnover there by Sudoff. Carter Sudoff looking for Carter Orr in the corner, and the pass was a little bit off, and that creates Spencerville's first turnover. And we see Coach Sensball telling Sudoff that he can go underneath that screen from now on. Not having to follow him around. And once again, we see him go right back to the same play as Cam Elwer gets his first open look and knocks down the three. Yeah, he hits that Ricker lawn and landscape three-point attempt, and Cam Elwer just looks smooth. Will Sensible to the hole. Will Sensible answers. It's 12 to 9 on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. Elwer. Gets it over to Aaron Munter. Thought about it. Almost pulled it. It's Colin Feathers. Feathers being aggressively guarded by Carter Sudoff. It's one of the things that you notice about this Spencerville defense. They will play aggressive the entire night. 
Yeah, we see Spencer already making some adjustments, switching when Aaron Munter has the ball out. And Cam Elwer, great backdoor cut, and they find him for the easy two. Delphi St. John's pushes their lead to five on the Mats Heating and Cooling scoreboard. Owen Sensiball drives the lane, goes to the hole. Owen Sensiball. Now we see that strength. Definitely spent some time in the offseason in that weight room. Goes up, kind of has to double pump. And then a rare miss there by Cam Elwer. Carter Sidoff comes down with it. Will Sensiball with the basketball. Will Sensiball, a freshman. He's had an incredible season so far. Leading this Bearcat offense. This is his brother Owen. He's going to drive baseline. He's going to draw another foul. No, he's going to step out of bounds. Stephen McCray said his foot stepped out of bounds, and that's going to be another turnover for the Bearcats. A couple substitution for the Bearcats. Michael Woods coming in off the bench. Grady Smith coming in a few weeks ago. Grady Smith, a big game against Lima Central Catholic. Playing some quality minutes for the Bearcats. This is Tice McLean in for the Blue Jays as well as they've subbed some guys in. Drew Boggs has also entered the game, and that's going to be Delphi St. John's' second turnover as well. Oh, we saw St. John's go back to that play they had run before. Good take there by Will Sensible. Looks like they got Cam Elwer, as we'll see on this Road State College replay. Tax the rim there. Sees Cam Elwer come down. I think the official saw his hand come down, and typically that's an automatic call. We are talking about that last night, you know, Anytime that hand comes down, I mean, even I, I swear, even if you don't see it happen, it's going to get a foul. And it's so tough, you know, to keep those hands up as Will Sensiball drills his first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. He's going to get a second opportunity here to cut the lead to one, and he does on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. A lot of points so far. This has been an up-and-down game. We kind of thought this would be the case, but, you know, uh, it's been uh, two well-coached teams, two teams that, like you mentioned, know each other well, and some very, very athletic and uh, skilled athletes on the offensive side of the basketball. This is Grady Smith back to Will, sends the ball over to Owen, sends the ball, guarded by Cam Elwer. Owen kicks it over to Michael Woods. Woods to Grady Smith. Owen sends the ball into the lane, misses, and a rebound comes down by Elwer. Yeah, we see Owen really looking to attack the whole entire time. Didn't even look for a shot there. Wants to go to the rim, but. Austin Munter missing the shot, but fighting for the rebound inside. That's Joel Schrader, and not only does he fight for the rebound, but he's able to get the foul call. It looks like they're going to get the foul on, Car or excuse me, Michael Woods going to send Joel Schrader to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Trader's first free throw is up, and it is good. Some more substitution for Delphi St. John's. Feathers comes back into the game. Andrew Elwer back into the game. Both teams play seven guys-ish, you know, which is great for consistency, you know, and so far it's been a pretty clean first quarter in, in, in the, you know, as fouls go. Yeah, and we'll see these coaches have to find times to get some of their their star players in that some time on the bench there just to get a quick rest because both these teams like to push the ball up the floor quickly. As you said, a lot of points here. 28 already in this first quarter. So they get the ball into Sudoff. Good defensive stop, but gets his own rebound. Two offensive rebounds by Spencerville. First by Michael Woods, the second one by Carter Sudoff. They give themselves more opportunities to tie the score here on the Mats Heating and Cooling scoreboard. Tice McLean with the basketball. McLean drives the baseline. He's going to go ahead and pull it out. Unguarded. McLean deep triple try. Tice McLean hits the Ricker Lawn and Landscape triple. Yeah, good decision there by Tice McLean. Sees himself wide open. Here's Spencer on the other end. Doesn't take much time for them to get an open shot. Evan Osteen just not able to finish. Nice rebound by Colin Feathers. Gets it out to McLean. McLean really doing all that he can. And they're going to get Grady Smith for a blocking foul underneath. B.J. McFerrin says here on the Road State replay that Grady Smith was didn't have his feet set and was using his body. Yeah, Tice McLean coming into the game, being very aggressive there 
attacking the rim on that last possession. Saw him find some open space to knock down the three. That time driving to the rim, draw some contact, and a foul. This is Cam Elwer takes the ball to the lane just a little short. Carter Sutoff comes down with the rebound. Delphi St. John's holds on to a three-point lead on the Matt Eating and Cooling scoreboard. We are under 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter at Spencerville High School. Delphi St. John's Blue Jays taking on the Spencerville Bearcats. We got a good one so far. Evan Osteen looking over to Coach Kevin Sensiball. Looks like they're going to hold on to this last shot here. Osteen dribbles. He's going to have to kick it out. He gets it to sit off. Sit off. Under 10 seconds to go. Spin move. Jump shot. Misses. Nice rebound by Braden Klaus. Klaus in the game gets it over to Andrew Elwer. Elwer to the rim, but he's rejected by Carter Sudoff. Yeah, it looked like he was going to have an open lay up there as a couple other Bearcats flew by him, and Carter Sudoff there to clean up that shot. 0.2 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Well, what a good first quarter it was, and we will have more of that. It's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays, 18, and the Spencerville Bearcats, 15, on the Matt Hilding and Cooling scoreboard. We're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to WSN High School Basketball. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. I like to hear anything spring right now. 2024 registration is now open. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Rhodes State College. John Zerby here with Josiah Stober. And Josiah, boy, it was an up and down first quarter. A lot of excitement so far. Delphi St. John's holding on to a three-point lead. Yeah, and Spencer are doing a really good job so far on Cam Elwer. You know, at seven points there in that first quarter to lead um, all scorers here tonight. But, you know, both teams just going up and down the floor, getting it up quickly, trying to get easy offense. We saw a lot of it there in that first quarter. You know, we can expect the same here in this second quarter. You know, if we get to like 80 points per team tonight, that'd be a lot of fun. I'm just saying, a lot of fun. As Owen Sensible, he's going to try to get to that 80-point mark, takes it to the lane and cuts the lead to one. Yeah, and Owen Sensible, you know, last year as a freshman playing on this varsity team, really just known as that spot-up shooter, yeah. has added to his game this year, being that tacking the rim. As we see here, St. John's, another outside shot. Good rebound there by Sodoff, and off we go with Will Sensible. Will Sensible takes it to the rim, and Carter Sudoff answers. Carter Sudoff uses his height advantage in his arm, his wingspan, all those good things, got up and put it back in to give the Bearcats the lead on the Matt Seating and Cooling scoreboard. Tyson McLean's shot is short. Carter Orr comes down with the rebound, as we see it here on the Rhodes State College replay. Misses the shot, and he's going to get a foul here going the other direction. Yeah, that's a good strong board there by Carter Orr going up, grabbing the ball, get it, drawing some contact here. Opportunity now, extend this one-point lead for the Bearcats. So Will Sensiball is going to get it over to Evan Osteen. Osteen kicks it over to Owen Sensiball. Sensiball in the lane, jump shot, misses. Nice aggressive move by Carter Orr, but it ends up coming down to Delphi St. John's, and this is Cam Elwer. Elwer guarded by Evan Osteen. Good first quarter for Cam Elwer, seven points. And he's going to get himself here to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Yeah, we see on this Road State College replay there, Cam Elwer not going to be denied there. Was double, but ripped through, goes up, draws some contact. Opportunity now to step to the free throw line. So Elwer's first free throw at the Lee's free throw line is good. And that will tie it here at 19. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. That's Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Second one is up, and it is good. Cam Elworth, nine points. 20 to 19 on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. Delphus St. John's holding on to this lead. It's been back and forth. Uh, throughout this game, which is what we thought it would be, a good matchup here on a Saturday night. See a packed crowd, a packed student section. It's a lot of fun, but we're going to get an offensive foul on Spencerville. As we look here on the Road State College replay, they're going to say that Carter Orr maybe 
just maybe he did use his arm and kind of grabbed Cam Elwer around the around the waist. Yeah, officials look if you're trying to gain an advantage with your arms, they're going to call that every single time. And the official is in a good spot to see it and turnover for the Bearcats. Delphi St. John's with this possession. It was Colin Feathers over to Tice McLean. McLean being guarded by Will Sensible over to Aaron Muncher. Muncher to Cam Elwer. Elwer guarded by Carter Orr. The Spencerville's mix, mixed up the defensive assignments, and this is Cam Elwer to the hole. Wow, Cam Elwer. Well, Cam Elwer just so quick with that first step. Shook a little bit to his left, goes to his right. The defense wasn't able to help quick enough, and Knocks down the layup. Carter set off with the basketball. He's going to be quadruple teamed. It doesn't matter. He's going to score and get the opportunity for the three-point play. Carter set off. Yeah, we see on this Road State College replay here, four Blue Jays around him at one point. Goes up strong through some contact. Now opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. So set off has the opportunity to tie it here at the Lees. Free throw line, he does not. Nice rebound by Aaron Muncher. Delphi St. John's is going to maintain possession here with a one-point lead on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. We're in Spencerville tonight. The MAC versus the NWC. That's Evan Osteen denying that entry pass. Yeah, Evan Osteen has those long arms, uses that length to his advantage there, gets a handout as Blue Jays trying to get the ball to Cam Elwer on that wing. Out of bounds back to the Blue Jays. Some substitution for the Blue Jays. Braden Klaus checking in. Joel Schrader checking in. Mixing the lineup up here. This is Cam Elwer. He's going to be defended by Carter Orr. Triple try by his brother, Andrew Elwer. Andrew Elwer knocks down the Ricker Lawn and Landscape triple. Yeah, as we said at the beginning of the game, this Blue Jays team shoots beyond the arc at a 40% for the season. So... Once again, Owen Sensible just tacking the rim every single time he touches the ball. It's that first step. I mean, that first step, he's so quick, and it's hard to recover defensively as Evan Osteen creates a turnover for the Bearcats. He swipes Cam Elwer, and now Will Sensible is going to control the possession. This is Owen Sensible looking inside for Sudoff. Kicks it out to his brother, Will. Will back to Owen to Sudoff. Spencer will be impatient with the basketball. Nice cut by Evan Osteen, but couldn't hang on to it. Yeah, really a good play there by the Bearcats. Evan Osteen just not able to get the ball on that pass, and we got a turnover on the Blue Jays' travel. Back to the Bearcats. Seen a pretty clean game so far in the last uh, 30 seconds. We've seen three turnovers. Uh, you can start to see that guys are getting a little bit tired as some substitutions are coming in. Tyce McLean back in and Austin Munner back in the game, but... This is an intense game so far for these young men. Yeah, we can see quite a few players with their hands on their hips or on their legs. See here, we got a situation on the floor. I don't know if there's some maybe some blood on a player. Looks like they're going to send Carter Orr to the bench. Spencerville trainer Trina Pearson's going to check Carter Orr out to maybe get him cleaned up here so that he can get back in the game quickly. Will sense the ball. Going against Tice McLean. Over to Owen sense the ball to Grady Smith. Smith to Osteen. Carter stood off. Kicks it to the corner. Owen sense the ball. Triple try just a little short, but nice rebound by Carter stood off. And boy, he's been a force on the offensive rebounding. Yeah, we just see him with a lot of confidence here through the game. And Offensive rebound for the Blue Jays. That's 24, Joel Schrader goes to the free throw line. They're going to get that one on Will Sensible. And, you know, Spencerville playing seven guys. It's great to have a, a few subs, but they got to be careful when it comes to their aggressiveness foul-wise. And it's going to get Joel Schrader to the least famous recipe free throw line. I know that Carter Orr and Carter Sutter for two guys that they're always, you know, conscientious about in foul trouble. They're going to give that one to Will Sensible. So Joel Schrader steps to the line and starting to contribute here to the Delphi St. John's 
One point lead on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. He's got two points so far. He's going to add to it with his third point of the game. Grant Ulm's going to check in for the Blue Jays, and now they're running about nine deep, Josiah. And as you said, Spencer will about seven deep on their bench, so trying to find time during the game, especially at these you know, fast-paced games. When are you going to get, guys, a couple breaths on the sideline as we now we see Carter Orr stepping back to the booth there to check back in. Evan Osteen drives baseline, kicks it out to Owen Sensible. Sensible spin move in the lane, and they're going to get him for traveling. Looks like he lost his footing. Good defense by the Blue Jays, and that's going to be a turnover for the Bearcats. Or checks back into the game for Grady Smith. He's, they've got him cleaned up as the Delphi St. John's Blue Jays clinging to a two-point lead on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard over the Spencerville Bearcats. This is Austin Muncher. Muncher gets it to Cam Elwer. This is Ulm. Grant Ulm just had entered the game just a minute ago. Andrew Elwer to the baseline. Misses. Rebound by Carter Sudoff. I, I feel like Carter Sudoff's just been everywhere tonight. Yeah, and a good take there by Andrew Elwer. Getting to the baseline, saw that help coming. Carter set off and decided to pull up a little bit short there, and in the end left it a little bit short. And Owen Sensible, once again, just attacking the rim every time he gets it. He's not able to knock down that shot. It's a nice rebound by Austin Munner. He brings it all the way down the floor, and he kicks it out to Aaron Munner. They're going to reset things here with Cam Elwer. And they're going to get Spencerville here for a foul on the floor. Yeah. Coach Sensible asking the official, looked like the screen might have been moving a little bit, but the official said there was a hand check prior to that. Gives Spencerville their fourth team foul for the quarter, so one more and they'll be in the bonus. This one's on the floor, so Delta St. John's will inbound the basketball with Austin Munner. Now to Cam Elwer. Elwer setting things up here for the Blue Jays. Elwer guarded by Evan Osteen. Ball's in the corner to Andrew Elwer. This is back to Cam Elwer. Elwer in the lane. Gets hammered a little bit. Nice offensive rebound by Grant Ulm. And what Delta St. John. Russell there by Evan Osting to Owen Sensible. St. John's turns the ball over. Like you said, Josiah, great hustle by Evan Osting. Gets it to Owen Sensible, and that ties the score up on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. And that's one of those plays you want to get Coach Sensible fired up, get on the floor. <laughs> you saw him cheering on his team there. and Take there by Munter, goes in off the backboard. I'll tell you what, I like Aaron Munter. We talked about him a little bit ago, but size-wise he looks good. But he's got a lot of skill. I mean, he really does as the Spencerville Bearcats are going to use one of their timeouts right here. And we're going to use the timeout as well, our Metzger Financial Service timeout. Score on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. It is 29 to 27. It's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays on top of the Spencerville Bearcats. We'll be back with more second quarter action. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back here on WSN High School Basketball. Our timeout sponsor tonight is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan for your financial future. You can call 419-225-6067, or you can visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. That's tonight's timeout sponsor, Metzger Financial Services. Just under two minutes to go here. A minute 33 to be exact. It's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays on top of the Spencerville Bearcats, 29 to 27. It's been a great matchup so far, a back and forth game as Spencerville maintains possession here. Owen Sensible looking inside to Carter Orr. He's being guarded by Aaron Munter. Orr in the lane, misses, gets his own rebound, puts it back up, misses once again, and then Munter comes down with the rebound. Yeah, Coach Elwer not happy, thought his player had boxed him out well. Officials didn't see it that way. And another block there by Carter Sudoff on Cam Elwer. Using that link coming from the weak side and just swats it away. Elwer did a great job of getting in the lane. Did, had, made an incredible move to get to the basket, but Carter Sudoff was waiting for that block shot. But Elwer back. Pump fakes in the lane. Gets it up. Gets it in. Yeah, he's just so tough. So strong there in the post as a guard. Takes the ball up strong. Good defense there by Evan Osting. Just Cam Elwer just so strong 
able to get it up. Owen Sensible, he's going to get his second traveling call, and I think he's being aggressive trying to get the ball to the hole, but the last few times he's tried, that aggressive defense has uh, forced him uh, to commit a few turnovers. Yeah, and a good play there by Andrew Elwer, shuffling his feet, getting in front of him, waiting for that spin to happen, and forced the turnover there on Owen Sensible, and Blue Jays now four-point lead. See if they can extend it here. I'm just so impressed by both teams. Delphi St. John's, especially defensively, they get after it. I mean, we, we, we're kind of used to seeing Spencerville get after it, but, man, St. John's is so good defensively, and, and it's everybody moving their feet, and it looks like Cam Elwer is going to pull it out here with about 30 seconds to go uh, for that last final shot, but both teams so well coached. Yeah, absolutely, you know, especially on the defensive end. Both of them, you know, moving their feet. They have great help side defense. As we see here, yeah, St. John's is wanting to take this last shot. You can only imagine it's going to be in Cam Elwer's hands, just like last night against Versailles. <laughs> Knocks down the shot as time expired. Officials allowing a little bit of contact. Can we get a shot up from Spencerville? It was and a short. close one. Yeah, it was a close one. Evan Osteen thought he had the block, and Coach Aaron Elwer was, did not agree. He was wanting Cam to get to the free throw line. Boy, it's been a good one. Great first half here in Spencerville. It's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays on top of the Spencerville Bearcats, 31 to 27 on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. We'll be back with more high school basketball here on WOSN. Welcome back to WOSN. Tonight's three-point sponsor is Ricker Lawn and Landscape. You can contact Ricker Landscape for all of your lawn care needs, including fertilization and weed control programs, aerating, hydro seeding, irrigation service and installation and more. We appreciate tonight's three-point sponsor, Ricker Lawn and Landscape. 31 to 27, it's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays holding on to a four-point lead over the Spencerville Bearcats. Josiah, just give me some first-half thoughts of what you've seen so far. Yeah, I think both coaches would be happy with their performance so far, especially on the defensive end. You know, both teams getting after it. You know, for Spencerville, you know, trying to limit Cam Elwer, you can't shut him down. There's no. no way he's too good of a player. You know, had 13 points there yep. in the first half, you know, but did a good job of just making it difficult yep. on him. And, you know, for this Spencerville team, you know, not shooting the ball, had, didn't make a three all first half there, wow. but did a great job of attacking the rim, being aggressive. So we'll see what adjustments both coaches make here coming out of halftime. So we're going to start this half. Looks like the same starters on both teams. Sense of balls. Osteen set off an oar for the Bearcats. And it looks like the Elwers, Munters, and Colin Feathers. That was really easy. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of the same names here. This is Aaron Munter. Going to control the basketball for the Blue Jays. Austin Munter takes the ball, kicks it out to Andrew Elwer. Elwer thought about it there for a minute. Over to Cam Elwer. Elwer in the lane. Almost in the lane to Munster. Delphi St. John's being very patient here offensively. Cam Elwer going to take the triple try just a little long, and the Bearcats are going to come down with it. Yeah, Evan Osteen using that length. It looked like Elwer had a wide-open shot there, but we saw the Bearcats doing a good job of closing down that shot, you know, making Cam Elwer just a little bit off on that three, and a good rebound there by the Bearcats. See if they can cut into this lead here. This is Carter Sudoff being guarded by Aaron Munter. Nice battle going on inside. These two bodies going after it. Sudoff, a little bit of a size advantage. Misses. Nice rebound by Cam Elwer. Oh, Munter's doing a good job of just keeping him out of the paint there, making it difficult on him, taking those about eight-foot shots. And we see Cam Elwer there just driving to the lane there. So difficult to stop. And it looks so easy for him, but like you said, that is just – that's. That's difficult to stop as Owen Sensible tries it there, misses. Rebound came down to Carter Sudoff. Ball was on the floor, but Smithsville is going to end up with it. And looks like Owen Sensible is going to get himself to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Yeah, and Owen steps to the free throw line, shooting 59% from the free throw line. If you see any flaw in his game, it might be the free throw, but he uh, steps up and knocks it down. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, they have locations in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And Owen Sensible nails his second Lee's Famous Recipe free throw. 
Delphi St. John's holding on to a four point lead on the Mats heating and cooling scoreboard. This is Andrew Elwer with the basketball. Cam Elwer, guarded by Evan Osteen. He's backing him down. Osteen not giving anything up. Doubled by Carter Orr. It doesn't matter. Cam Elwer has got 17, Josiah. Uh, he's just so strong in the post. You know, such a versatile guard, able to knock down the shot from deep, but then also just has great post moves down low. As we see here, Evan Osting with the three try, not able to knock it down, and Blue Jays back on the attack. Austin Munner with a nice rebound. He controls the basketball now, kicks the ball in the corner to Colin Feathers. Feathers misses the triple try, but I think it's going to stay with Delphi St. John's as Carter Sudoff looked like he have it, but... It's the win out of bounds, and St. John's is going to maintain possession. Yeah, and those are the boards you really need, especially on the Bearcats. You don't want to give this offense, especially right there, Cam Miller with the easy two, giving them another possession now. Eight-point lead for the Blue Jays. Quickly, as Spencerville having a hard time putting the ball in the bucket, Delphi St. John's has extended their lead to eight on the Mats heating and cooling scoreboard. This is Owen sends the ball, triple try, deep triple, Owen sends the ball on the Ricker lawn and landscape, three-point attempt. Yeah, first three of the night made by the Bearcats. Haven't shot a whole lot of them. Cam Elwer just attacking the rim. Eight points here in this third quarter alone. Well, we talked about that 37-point thing and haven't said much about it, but he's at 21, <laughs> Josiah, as Evan Osteen tries the triple. We're going to get a foul here on the floor. As we look at the Road State College replay, it is Road State College. That's our instant replay sponsor tonight. Spring 2024 registration is now open. It's Road State College, our instant replay sponsor for this evening. Spencerville is going to maintain possession. Since the ball inbounds the ball to Orr, over to Osteen. Osteen from the baseline, off the glass, almost got it to go. Blue Jays back on the attack here, back in the hands of Cam Elwer as they double. Knowing that Munter has the ability to shoot from the outside. Turnover, and the Bearcats are off. This is Will Sensiball to Evan Osteen. Evan Osteen finishes it. And now that lead is back down to five as the Bearcats are creeping back into this ball game on the Matt Heating and Scholing scoreboard. Great pass by Cam Elwer, missed by Munter, rebound by Sudoff, and Spencerville's back on the attack. This is Will Sensiball into the corner to Owen Sensiball. Drives baseline. Looks like he was trying to find Evan Osteen, and ball went right through the bottom of the net. Cam Elwer on the move. We're going to get a foul on the floor. As we see here on this Road State College replay, Cam Elwer ahead of the pack. Will Sensiball just steps in front of him, draws some contact, and looks like we'll have a timeout by the Blue Jays. Our tonight's timeout sponsor is Metzger Financial Services, and we will take a timeout as well. It is 39 to 34. It's Adelphi St. John's Blue Jays on top of the Spencerville Bearcats. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? If not, you can call Matt's Heating and Cooling or you can go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. That's Matt's Heating and Cooling in Spencerville, Ohio. Boy, 39 to 34, Delphi St. John's on top of the Bearcats in this third quarter. Uh, you know, Delphi St. John's has come out hot. Yeah, and it's all been Cam Elwer, which we expect. Yep. You know, you can't hold him down for very long. Eight quick points here in this third quarter alone. So just being aggressive, getting to the rim, making it difficult for this Bearcats. Delphi St. John's, this is Joel Schrader getting inside, getting in the ball game. Joel Schrader's got five points. He's been a nice uh, spark off the bench tonight. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing from these Blue Jays. Kind of these role players really stepping up. Another open shot from Evan Osteen, and he knocks it down. Yeah, Evan Osteen on the Ricker lawn and landscape triple try. That cuts the lead to four points on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. And this is Cam Eller once again. It's it's like a broken record, isn't it? Yeah, just so versatile, can do about anything. Has that ability to drive hard, to pull up on a dime there. As we saw, knocks it down. And a good take there by Will Sensball. 
Carter Orr gets another possession for his teammates and it's back down to Sudoff. Sudoff inside, takes it, it's Carter Sudoff. Answering for the Bearcats. Kind of thought coming into this game, Carter Sudoff could be a pivotal player. He's got 12 tonight. Really using his athletic ability and skill inside for the Bearcats. This is Cam Elwer. He's been a scoring machine not only tonight, but his whole career. He takes a triple try, and that's going to, B.J. McFerrin's going to say that's a two-point attempt. Regardless, it's Cam Elwer, 25 points. Getting closer, he's 12 from 1,000. And it's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays with a six-point lead over the Bearcats. Missed attempt for Spencerville. Nice looking rebound there by Schrader and Gelwer. We're going to get a foul on Spencerville going the other direction. So some substitutions for the Bearcats. Grady Smith's going to come on in for the St. John's Blue Jays. Drew Boggs is checked in. Tyce McLean is checked in as well. Delphi St. John's. This is Cam Elwer. Elwer taking on Carter Orr. Elwer in the lane, loses the basketball, and they're going to say that Carter Orr got his hands on it, and it's going to stay with Delphi St. John's. Yeah, we'll look at this Road State College replay where we'll have a good view, hopefully, of what happened. It looked like the ball went out on Elwer, but official saw it a little bit different. He was a little bit closer than we are. Back to the Blue Jays. And we would never question an official's call. Never. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, they, they get it right 99.9%. All right, you got, you've heard enough. Okay. Uh -huh. Muncher in the lane. Muncher. Oh, B.J. McFerrin's going to say he traveled going in the other direction. And Spencerville now will get that turnover. That's Delphi St. John's' seventh turnover. Yeah, big possession here for the Bearcats. You know, down six. You know, Carter Sudoff's on the bench. Can they find some offense here to try to cut into this lead with only two minutes to go here in this third quarter? Will sends the ball, drives the lane. Will sends the ball, converts in the lane. Now the lead is four on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. Every time Delphi St. John's pulls away just a little bit, Spencerville calls back. Cam yeah. Elwer misses. Good rebound by Aaron Munter, and it's going to maintain possession. We're going to have a foul underneath the basket. Yeah, as we see here on the replay, Carter Orr just making it difficult for Cam Elwer. And we see Munter there come down with the ball, and Fischl saw a little bit too much contact there. Back to the Blue Jays. So Elwer, one-on-one -on -one with Orr. He kicks the ball to the corner. This is Drew Boggs with the triple try. Misses. Rebound by Evan Osteen. Osteen over to Will Sensiball. Sensiball pushing the transition. We're going to get a foul on the Blue Jays. Drew Boggs. Ran into Will Sensiball on this Rhodes State replay, and it's going to cost the Blue Jays. Man, I will say for the majority of the night, these officials have allowed them to play. You know, you don't want the officials to be the center stage of right. the game. We got a lot of really good basketball players out here tonight, but these officials just allowing a little more contact, right. which as a former player, I love those games. Yeah, well, as a former AD, these are three of the best officials around. Great officiating crew, and couldn't have uh, asked for a better matchup tonight with Two really good teams. Carter stood off inside. Misses that one. Good rebound by Austin Muncher. And now the Blue Jays are in transition. Gets it over to Aaron Muncher. Munter getting instructions from Coach Elwer. This is Austin Munter. It looks like they might just try to pull this out. You think they're going to hang on to the final shot here? Yeah. It's a lot of time to do yeah, that. Be a long minute here. <laughs> Carter Orr deciding to come out a little bit, put a little pressure, but Aaron Munter okay to hold it back here as Sudoff now decides to come out and put a little bit of pressure on. As we see a quick turnover, nope, Blue Jays get it right back. Great hustle by Owen Sensible to almost create the turnover and then to have the heads up to head down the floor for the turnover. We're not 30 seconds here. Evan Osteen putting pressure on Cam Elwer. Coach Aaron Elwer barking out instructions to his team. We're at 25 seconds. It's 45 to 41 on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. Delphi St. John's coming into this game 13 and 2, 5 and 0 in the MAC against Spencerville, who's 11 and 3, 4 and 0 in the Northwest Conference. And here we go. 10 seconds to go. Cam Elwer is going to get a screen. No, he's going to take it to the hole. Cam Elwer 
He just does it all. Wow, Cam Elwer finishes the quarter. And now we're going to get a travel on the Bearcats. It's going to be a turnover. Delphi St. John's is going to get an opportunity here with just .4 seconds to go to get an opportunity on an inbound pass. Yeah, .4 seconds to go here. Typically, this is where they lob it up to Cam Elwer. You see the adjustment. Carter Orr is trying to step on him, and I don't think that I don't think that ball was. In, and the official does call it off there. Wow. They're going to wave that off, and I think that's a good call. That was a catch and shoot. I think you'd almost have to tip it, but boy, that was an impressive shot by Aaron Muncher. It's 47 to 41 on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. We got a good fourth quarter coming up. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to WOSN. Tonight's three-point sponsor is Ricker Lawn and Landscape. You can contact Ricker Lawn and Landscape for all of your lawn care needs, including fertilization, weed control programs, aerating, hydro seeding, irrigation service, installation, and more. That is Ricker Lawn and Landscape, our three-point sponsor tonight. We appreciate their support on WOSN. 47-41, Delta St. John's holding on to a six-point lead over Spencerville here on a Saturday evening. It's been a great matchup of the two league undefeated squads as the MAC taking on the Northwest Conference. We're here in the fourth quarter. It should be an exciting one. John Zerbe and Josiah Stober bringing you all the action. Carter Sudoff inside for the Bearcats. He's going to get the foul, and he's going to get to the free throw line. Yeah, and that's a good possession there out of the timeout. Finding Carter Sudoff on the little slip there. Goes up strong, gets some contact in the back of the head there but is able to finish, cut into this lead. So Carter Sudoff, he's going to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Gets the chance for the triple opportunity, and he does. He limits the lead to one possession as the St. John's Blue Jays hanging on to a three-point lead on the Mats heating and cooling scoreboard. This is Cam Elwer. He's done a little bit of everything tonight. He's at 27 points, needs to get to 37 to reach that 1,000th point. We'll keep a close eye on that as this fourth quarter goes on. Carter Orr gets his hand on it, but it's going to stay with Delphi St. John's. Yeah, and we see what St. John's is trying to do. Get the ball inside to Cam Elwer. See Spencer will make the adjustment, putting Carter Orr. Has a couple inches on Cam, trying to keep him in front. And a good defensive possession there. Back to the Bearcats. Opportunity to either tie or cut into this lead. So Will sends the ball. is going to set things up for the Bearcats. He's going to take the jump shot. Almost gets it to go. Good rebound by Austin Munner for the Blue Jays. Aaron Munner with the basketball. St. John's in no hurry. Setting things up. Being patient on the offensive end. It's Cam Elwer versus Evan Osteen. Osteen. Tried his best, but Cam Elwer just keeps coming. Cam Elwer, 29 points for the Blue Jays. It pushes their lead to five. Owen Sensible in the lane. Spin move. Owen Sensible answers for the Bearcats. Like I mentioned just a minute ago, Josiah, every time St. John's kind of pushes that lead, Spencerville answers. Yeah, and we see that with St. John's too. Anytime Spencerville's cutting that lead down, we see an answer from these Blue Jays, and most of the time it's from this man, Cam Elwer. Elwer in the lane, does the best that he can. Carter Orr bodies him up. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Like we mentioned earlier, they're going to let him play. And uh, the officials do. Delphi St. John's maintains possession, but a great offense versus defensive battle, Cam Elwer versus Carter Orr. This is Colin Feathers with the basketball. Back to Cam Elwer, Elwer. Going against Orr, Elwer being physical, being aggressive. Kicks it over to Austin Muncher. Muncher drives baseline. Ball's on the floor, almost a turnover, but we're going to get a timeout by Delphi St. John's. Coach Aaron Elwer calling that timeout, and we're going to take a timeout here. Our timeout sponsor tonight is Metzger Financial Services, so we're going to go ahead and take a timeout. 49-46 to 46 on the Matching and Cooling School Board. It's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays on top of the Spencerville Bearcats. You're watching WOSN. Welcome back to WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan for your financial future. You can call 419-225-6067, or you can visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We appreciate Matt Metzger 
for sponsoring tonight's timeout, Metzger Financial Services. Delphi St. John's Blue Jays took that timeout and they run a nice design play by Coach Elwer and gets Cam Elwer on the scoreboard. Josiah, 31 points. Boy, I don't know. It's happened fast. Yeah, especially in this second half here. Coming out, 18 points alone in this second half as an outlet turns the ball over. Coach Elwer, I think, would have liked to have seen his guys just slow it down, run a good set there. Bearcats now with another opportunity here. Evan Osteen with the open three and knocks it down. Yeah, Evan Osteen getting involved with that Ricker three-pointer, and that's cutting that lead to two, and Spencerville's really shot well behind the arc this half. I know in the first half they really couldn't get going, but this half they really shot well behind the three-point line. Yeah, and we're starting to see both fan sections really get into it. Shot there by Cam Elwer, a rare miss. You almost think everything's going in. <laughs> but now the Bearcats, can they tie this ball game up or take the lead? This is Will Sensiball over to his brother Owen. Owen makes a nice move, being guarded heavily. Almost loses the ball in the lane, but they're going to get him. They're going to get a foul on Delphi St. John's as we look at this Road State College replay. Yeah, and we've seen Owen Sensiball all night just be aggressive, attacking the rim. You know, the majority of his points has knocked down a three on the night, but everything's been going to the rim and had to squeeze through a tight area and drew some contact at back the ball back to the Bearcats. So Spencerville will inbound the basketball. Almost lost that possession. Good defense by the Blue Jays. Evan Osteen over to Wilson to ball. Spencerville trying to get an open look, being patient in their set. Good, solid defense by the Blue Jays. Spencerville gets it to Carter Orr, over to Will Sensball. He's not afraid to pull the triple just a little bit long and a good-looking rebound by Austin Munter. Yeah, and then we have a turnover here. Errant pass, trying to get the ball out. Throws it away as we hear on this replay. It's like Munter trying to get the ball out. Sees Elwer being defended. Now we got it back to the Bearcats. Timeout. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. The teams have taken a timeout. We will take one as well. You're watching high school basketball right here on WOSN. We're back here on WOSN. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We want to thank our free throw sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Great, great lunch after church on a Sunday, Josiah. Absolutely. We love our Lee's chicken. Spencerville trying to catch up here to the Delphi St. John's Blue Jays. Owen Sensiball takes the ball to the hole, and he's going to get himself to that Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Owen Sensiball has been relentless tonight trying to get himself to the basket. Yeah, well, he saw a free driving lane there to the right. Looked like there was some contact from Andrew Eller. Opportunity now. Can he tie the ball game up? Well, he's one point from doing so on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. 51 to 50, St. John's clinging to a one point lead. This game has been back and forth, and this game is all tied up as Owen Sensiball, 22 points tonight. Been a workhorse these last two nights, and these fans are getting into it as this game is tied up. Tice McLean controlling the basketball, gets it over to none other than Cam Elwer. He's going to get a screen. Elwer. Being patient with the basketball, one-on-one -on -one with Carter Orr. He's getting support inside from Sutoff. Elwer drives, scores, gets to the free throw line. Yeah, we see on that Road State College, just being patient there in the post, waiting for Orr to kind of go up. Once he does, draw some contact. Opportunity now to extend this lead back to three points for the Blue Jays. So Cam Elwer to the release famous recipe chicken free throw line. This game, 53-51, he could extend this lead to three. It is up, and it is good. Cam Elwer does it all. Under four minutes to go here in Spencerville. We've got a good one. It's a barn burner. Will Sensiball controlling the basketball. 
St. John's Blue Jays fans are on their feet. Spencerville fans on their feet. Owen sense ball going one on one with Cam Elwer. Kicks it over to Osteen. Osteen drives the lane. Being patient with the basketball, it's Will Sensible. Looking inside for Carter Sudoff. Sudoff going one on one with Aaron Munter. He's going to kick it out to Will Sensible. Spencerville being very patient here. Yeah, Spencerville doing a good job, not forcing anything up. Waiting to see what the given. Evan Osting there. Some contact there on the backside. Now, Spencerville, as we see here on this Road State College replay, Evan Osting taking his time, finding the lane. A little bit of contact there. Number five, Colin Feathers on the backside. Goes back to the free throw and our least famous recipe chicken free throw. Great camera footage by uh, our great guys here running our cameras that you've seen on the, on the Road State replay. That hand there by Colin Feathers right on the waist of Evan Osteen. It's going to give Evan an opportunity to go to the free throw line. we got a substitution here. It looks like uh, we've got maybe a mechanical issue with Austin Muncher's shoe. He's coming out and... Tyson McLean's coming in. We also have Jay, Joel, excuse me, Joel Schrader coming into the ball game as well. Osteen hits the first of two Lee's chicken free throws. He's going to get a second opportunity here to cut the lead to one. Spencerville trying to get over the top on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. Osteen misses the first one. Sudoff had it, but Cam Elwer took it right away from him. Elwer down the lane, misses. Sudoff tried to get the rebound. It's going to stay with Delta St. John's off of Carter Sudoff. Yeah, and really good defense there by Will, or Owen Sensible, excuse me. Not allowing Cam to go right to the basket. Uses his chest, but the ball goes out on a Bearcat. And Blue Jays opportunity here now up to see if they can extend this lead. So Austin Muncher looks like he's got his shoe fixed or, fixed, or maybe it was a sock issue. He's back in the ball game. Checks back in quickly. Tice McLean will inbound the basketball for the Blue Jays as they hold on to this two-point lead on the Mats heating and cooling scoreboard. Some slick spots on the floor as the Spencerville uh, ball boys are down there making sure that the floor is clean and safe and St. John's going to inbound the basketball. Cam Elwer. Triple try. Ricker three-point attempt. And Josiah, Cam Elwer, 37 points. 1,000 points for Cam Elwer. He's a sophomore, and it's January. Yeah, congratulations to Cam Elwer. What a milestone so early as Evan Osting responds right back for the Bearcats. We've seen that tonight. Bearcats just finding a way to will themselves back into the game. And foul there as Tice McLean drives to the rim. Foul there by Will Sensible. So we'll take a minute to congratulate Cam Eller as the Spencerville faithful is going to go ahead and they're going to they're going to take a minute here and they're going to stop the game. It looks like uh, Athletic Director Cam or Kelly at, at Williams is going to recognize Cam Elwer's 1,000 point. Nice gesture by Spencerville to give him that basketball. And Coach Aaron Elwer, his dad, congratulating him. Coach Kevin Sensible. It's good stuff seeing this, that's for sure. Yeah, especially at a way facility there taking the time to stop the game. I think one of the things you can appreciate is you know, as you're, you're competitive, you want to win. But when you see something really special like Cam Elwer, and you see a team like Delta St. John's, I mean, a lot of class and well coached. It's just fun to see other, you know, uh, these, these young kids achieve their goals and to see it happen and to celebrate it, it's just such a special thing. Yeah, what an accomplishment. Like you said, it's January of his sophomore year, already hit the 1,000 mark. So, you know, I expect some great things. Some records going to be broken by this young man. A lot of celebrating so far. It's been good. It's been a great game. Cam Elwer gets his thousandth. Delphi St. John's has the three-point lead. Tice McLean on the Lee's famous recipe free throw. Knocks it down. And now Delphi St. John's holding on to this four-point lead. And they're going to go ahead and take a timeout. Our 
Timeout sponsor tonight is Metzger Financial Services. Delta St. John's is taking a timeout. We will take a timeout as well. It's the Delta St. John's Blue Jays 59 and the Spencerville Bearcats. Fourth, more fourth quarter action straight ahead on WSN. We're back here on WOSN, and tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Rhodes State College. Their spring 2024 registration is now open. We appreciate Rhodes State College for sponsoring our instant replay this evening. Delta St. John's holding on to a four-point lead over the Spencerville Bearcats. Cam Elwer has 1,000 points. Just celebrated that. Now we can get back to basketball. And the St. John's Blue Jays holding on to a four-point lead on the Matt's Heating and Cooling scoreboard. Owen sends the ball. Almost turns the ball over. He does turn the ball over. It's none other than Cam Elwer. He's going to be fouled. And it's getting these Delphi St. John's fans rowdied up. Yeah, as we see here, good hands by the Blue Jays. Knocked that ball away. Cam Elwer's right there to crowd the ball. Not a bad foul there by Carter. Or only three here in the fourth quarter. So not going to give up anything easy at this point. Make the Blue Jays earn everything they've getting so far. So Cam Elwer with the basketball. Two minutes to go. Kicks it to his brother, Austin. Misses. Excuse me, Andrew. Missed shot, but comes down to the Bearcats. Two minutes to go here. This is Owen Sensible over to Carter Sudoff. Sudoff back to Will Sensible. Sensible, triple try. That's Will Sensible hitting the Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-point attempt. Yeah, every single time the Blue Jays extend this lead, there's an answer. And the answer came in the form of Will Sensible, the freshman knocking down a big three here in this game to cut this lead now to one. Cam Elwer, Rickard three-point attempt, just a little bit short. Rebound comes down to Carter Sudoff. A minute and a half to go. This place is fired up. Spencerville down one to the Blue Jays. It's Will Sensible with the basketball over to his brother Owen. Owen looking inside, being patient. Carter Orr inside, good move by Orr. And that's going to push the lead now in Spencerville's favor. 60-59 to 59 on the Matt's heating and cooling scoreboard. Cam Elwer quickly down the floor in the lane. Shot goes up, shot goes in. Yeah, just too strong in there. Looked like it was going to be a tough shot. Able to body that in. Just wills the ball into the net. One minute to go here. Coach Sensible not taking a timeout yet. Allowing his guys to play. Here a little bit of free play. And a turnover there by Evan Osting. Official call a little bit. Let's see if he moved his foot there. And it looks like he did. So a good call on the officials there. Blue Jays now up one. See if they can extend this lead here as Evan Osting looks like he needs a little bit of help down there on the baseline. It looks like you said he shuffled his feet and good call by the officials. But Evan Osting, is, uh, he's down on the floor and he's down on the floor. We're going to go ahead and take a timeout here as well. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to High School Basketball on WOSN. We're quickly back here. Evan Osting for the Bearcats went down. He quickly popped back up and He's okay, he's on the bench, and we got 46 seconds to go here. Delphi St. John's clinging to a one-point lead, and they are in control of the basketball. This is Andrew Elwer with the basketball. Elwer, guarded by Owen Sensible. Trying to get the ball to his brother Cam. Good defense by Spencerville. Elwer. Looked like there was gonna be some kind of contact, maybe a foul, but we're gonna go ahead and get a timeout. We want to appreciate our timeout sponsor tonight, Metzger Financial Services. Josiah, we're going to stay here right now. We've got 30 seconds to go here in this game. Delphi St. John's has the basketball. What are some things that Coach Elwer's talking to his team about right now? Well, first of all, you got to take care of the ball. You know, and you want to get the ball into Cam Elwer's <laughs> hands if you can. You know, comes in shooting 86% from the free throw yeah. line. So, which we would expect right. you know, with a 1,000-point score, be able right. to knock down some free throws. But just got to take care of the ball. Don't give it away, especially you don't want to give away a bad turnover that Spencerville can push the ball quickly and run and get an easy bucket. So, we'll see what they call out of the timeouts here. Coach Sensible, you know, really probably just telling his guys, pressure the crap out of people, if you <laughs> can say that. Just get after them as did. hard as you can. <laughs> just get after them, you know, and, and make sure it's difficult for them to get anything easy. 30 seconds to go here. It's Delphi St. John's inbounding the basketball. Andrew Elwer with it. He's got it over to Austin Munzer. Quickly a foul for Spencerville. And, you know, with the, with the free throw opportunities here, the new rule, you know, you immediately go to two shots. I mean, is that something that 
strategy-wise, would be something that Spencer would want to do. Yeah, and you got to pick. You know, this is where some of those stats come into play. Is that's who you'd want to foul for the Blue Jays? Austin Munter, only 55% from the free throw line. So if you want anybody on this Blue Jays team to step to the line, that's who you want. So Austin Munts are going to get an opportunity here to extend the Delta St. John's lead. He's going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Two free throws coming for Munter. Munter's first one is up, and it is good. Pushes that lead to two. A couple substitutions for the Blue Jays. Colin Feathers back in along with Joel Schrader as they're getting a little size in there with Schrader. Munter getting his second opportunity. Austin Munter. Push this lead to three, misses, rebound by Carter Sudoff. 22 seconds to go, timeout by Spencerville. Coach Kevin Sensiball wants to talk about it. Once again, we appreciate our timeouts sponsor tonight, which is Metzger Financial Services. Now, if you're Coach Kevin Sensiball, what is the conversation here, Josiah? Yeah, well, I think you, you want to find something where you can attack the rim. You know, you don't have to settle for a three. You're not down by three where you have to get one in. Attack the rim. See if you can get an in one. Draw some contact. You know, if not, you shoot free throws with no time coming off the clock. You know, if we, as we look at some of these, Bear, or these Bearcats players come in, you know, Carter Orr shoots 78% from the free throw line. Uh, Carter stood off 81%. Yeah. So if you can get the ball into your big man's hands close to the basket, they get fouled, you know, you know they have a good chance of knocking them down. So this is what it's going to come down to, 62 to 60, with just 21 seconds to go here in Spencerville. Spencerville's going to maintain possession. Appreciate our timeout sponsor tonight, Metzger Financial Services. 62 to 60 on the Mats heating and cooling scoreboard. It's going to be Evan Osteen inbounding the basketball. Osteen looking inside, he gets it to Carter Orr, and the ball is going to be on the floor. Ball's loose. It's going to be a turnover by the Bearcats. Austin Munter did a great job of recovering that basketball, and now Spencerville quickly has to foul, which is going to give Delphi St. John's another opportunity to go to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Yeah, Evan Osteen, just not a good pass there into his teammate. Looked like he was giving him an opportunity to go up, but didn't really need to, just needed to find his hands. Turns the ball over, Blue Jays there ready to collapse on it. Now an opportunity again to extend this lead as he misses the first one. Well, if they had to foul, like you mentioned a minute ago, it was Munter. Misses his first, but has another opportunity here at the Lee's free throw line. Gets his second. Pushes that Blue Jay lead to three on the Mats heating and cooling scoreboard. Here it is, Will Sensible. Tries to kick it over, and guess who picks it off? Cam Elwer. Elwer with the basketball. Now they got to foul him, and that's going to send him to the free throw line. And that's probably not the guy you want shooting free throws. No, once again, just a, not a great pass there. Still had 20 seconds on the clock there to run a good set, get a good shot. A little bit too quick on that possession there, an errant pass. Cam Elwer, as you said, done a little bit of everything tonight. Steps in front, opportunity now to put this to a two-score possession, which he does. Cam Elwer, 40 points as he knocks down his first Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw. Cam Elwer, once again, his 41st point tonight on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line, pushes that lead to 5 0 and Sensible tries the triple late, misses, rebound comes down to Munter. Delta St. John survives. Big win for the Blue Jays here in Spencerville. They win tonight over the Bearcats, 65-60 to 60 on the Mats Heating and Cooling Scoreboard. Coming up, we will have your Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner. We'll also take an opportunity to talk to Coach Aaron Elwer as the Delphi St. John's Blue Jays wins tonight, 65-60. You've been watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to WOSN. We've seen an incredible Saturday night, Saturday night matchup tonight as uh, – the Delta St. John's Blue Jays outlast the Spencerville Bearcats. Our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner tonight. I want to thank Stolle Insurance. You can check out our highlights of our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. I want to thank Stolle Insurance for sponsoring our Hustle Award winner tonight. And it's a pretty easy choice tonight, Josiah. Yeah, and it's got to be Cam Elwer. You know, 1,000-point <laughs> scorer on the night. 1,004 total right now. Wow. Only a sophomore. But, you know, 
not only on the offensive end, we saw him a couple steals at the end there, yep. plays defense, you know, attacking the rim. He can post, he can shoot from deep, does everything that you need him to do, you know, and just want to congratulate him yeah. on the night, being our Stolly Hustle Award winner, but also on those 1,000 points yeah. for his career. It's fun to celebrate, you know, being at an away game, you know, you never know if you get that opportunity to celebrate. It was neat to, to give him that opportunity and to get to share that on, on TV as well. Just a couple thoughts, you know, as this game wore on, we've seen a lot of great things from both teams. Just some final thoughts from you as, as far as how both teams fared up tonight. Yeah, well, as you said, it was an amazing game, yeah. and I think both teams played really well. I think it came down to turnovers. Yeah. You know, Spencer, all those last two possessions, turned the ball over, didn't even get a good look at the rim to see if they could win this ball game. And, and you know, St. John's just did enough. They'd make a run, Spencer would come back, but every single time they answered the call, and we saw it tonight, you know, and congratulate once again Cam Elwer on that Stolly Hustle Award winner. Yeah, thanks so much. We appreciate Stolly Insurance as well. And we'll be back in just a few moments to talk to Coach Aaron Elwer about the big win. Once again, Delta St. John's hangs on on the Matt's Heating and Cooling School Board to defeat the Spencerville Bearcats 65-60. to Coach Aaron Elwer in just a minute. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to WSN as the Delta St. John's Blue Jays get a big win tonight here in Spencerville over the Bearcats, 65-60 to over the Spencerville Bearcats to push their overall record now to 14-2. Here with me is Coach Aaron Elwer. Coach, what an incredible game tonight, especially a non-conference game. You know, you come in to this game and you're, you're focused on your max schedule, but then on a yep. Saturday night you got a big game here in Spencerville. Just just tell me some of the yeah. thoughts about the game. Yeah, I just told our guys back-to-backs are so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what happens on Friday nights in our league, and then we have at least it was a short trip, and you're coming down to the, uh, one of the hottest teams in our area. Yeah. Um, tonight was a, a great high school basketball game between two really good teams yeah. um, with a lot of skill on the floor, uh, teams that like to guard really well. Um, they got their money's worth. You guys picked a great game to come to tonight, that's for sure. Talk about Cam. You know, it was a special night, and, yeah. and it was really cool to see him get that 1,000th point. We knew he had to get to 37. Yeah. He gets 41 tonight. Yeah. But a neat way to stop the, the game and everybody to, you know, to congratulate yeah. him. But, you know, the thing we talked about, it's January of his sophomore uh -huh. year. I mean, it's yeah, incredible. Right. I mean, I know, Coach, you're proud, but, you know, Dad as well. How, yeah. How's that feel? It, it's, it's, it was very emotional. Um, not as much on the floor. I think I handled myself well, but the locker room was really emotional. Um, you know, it's just all the great players that I've coached, Curtis Geidese, Tim Krieger, Jared Wurst, those guys worked extremely hard, and, and Cameron's in that same mold, and yeah. uh, he's his hardest worker that I've ever been around. Um, he loves the weight room. He loves the gym. He likes working on his own craft by himself, and, and he's able to somehow carry it over to gameplay <laughs> like I've never seen a kid do before, and to do it, at, like you said, at such a young age. Um, again, the message to our guys was it's a team sport. It's a great win. But every once in a while, there's an individual accolade that needs to be noticed. And yeah. for Cameron on this stage tonight, after what he did last night and our big win last night, what a cool experience for him. Yeah, you know, as, as someone who, you know, watches a few of your games a year, it's just easy to, to root for him. I mean, yeah. you can see that the work he's put in in the yeah. offseason and all those things, and but the way he handles himself yeah. on the floor, yeah. class act. I, I, I thank you so much. Like, some people ask me the, the thing I love about him the most, and I think it's just that, like, you know, the way that he typically is defended, and not just this year, this is years and years yeah. of him, um, <laughs> it being really physical for him. I, I, I agree with you. Like, I think it's his biggest strength is his demeanor and how he handles that and then is able to move on um, is as, as good as I've ever seen from a 16-year-old kid. Yeah. So going forward now, you got you still, you know, Minster next weekend and I, you've got a big weekend ahead. So what, what's the outlook for the rest of the way going I, into tournament time? You know, we love where we are, um, you know, you know, if you look at the league standings, you know, we play some really, really good teams yet that are all at top. Um, so there's a lot of basketball to be played. Um, our guys understand that. Um, you know, we'll go back to work Monday, um, try to rest a little bit here the next couple of days and try to get their mind right for what's to come next Monday at Minster. Um, it, it's just exciting. I, I love our guys. Our guys have completely bought into their role, and I think it's evident by the way that we play. Um, I just hope that we can continue to stay healthy and, and build on the, the success we had this weekend. Well, it's been fun, and I'll tell you, it, honestly, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to watch your team. You're a class act coach. Yep. Your team plays that way. It's, you guys are easy to root for. Congratulations. Thank I know you're so wanting much. to get out and celebrate yeah. with your team, That's right. your son, and probably your family yeah. as well. So yeah. congratulations hey, on the big win tonight. Thanks for being here. You guys yeah, absolutely. Yep, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Yep. We'll let you get away and celebrate with your family. And we want to thank tonight A.D. Kelly, Kelly Williams for allowing us to be here and uh, allowing us to, 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 to look at this game. You know what? We're going to go to Cam Elwer here. Cam's going to stop in. Cam, thank you for coming in yep. tonight.
kind of a little bit of a preemptive stop in. 1,000 points. Yep. What an accomplishment, man. Yep. Congratulations. I, Tell you. us just a little bit about that. Um, it wouldn't be possible without my family, my, my coaches, and my teammates, man. They're so supportive, and that's all I need to be where I'm at, and, hard work, and all the hard work pays off. And so, you know, we're watching this game, and we know you got to get to 37. I mean, are you thinking about that during the game? Or, you know, I mean, it, it was like you were at 20, and we're like, oh, he might get it, and then all of a sudden it was at 33. No. I mean, are you thinking about it during I the mean, game? A little bit. I mean, I would look up there, but it was all about getting the dub tonight, and and moving on to next week, the Mac and play Minster, big Mac game. Yeah. And so as you, as, as, as the fans watching, you know, we, we, we get to watch you. We get to enjoy what you do. One of the things I love so much about your game is that you play incredibly hard, but you do it with a lot of class. Like, yeah. it's easy to root for you. Mm -hmm. Just tell me a little bit about the time you put in in the off season. You know, obviously you, you live in a basketball family. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just tell me a little bit about the process it takes to get you to this point. Uh, yeah, I mean – that's always how I've been taught, I keep my composure and, and just do what I do, do what I work for every day. Uh, I wake up, I would wake up at 6 a.m. to shoot, lift, speed. I mean, all, all the hard work pays off in the end. Well, congratulations, 1,000 points. You're a sophomore. It's only January. You have a really bright future. We wish you the best. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate you stopping up yep. and talking to thank us as so well, much. Cam. Yep. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. I want to thank Cam for stopping up tonight, and we want to thank everybody here tonight, especially our crew tonight. They did an incredible job. Our director, Wayne Getz. Man, he's the best. Camera operators, Derek Henry, Kelsey Beimer, they are top notch. And it's just been an incredible night. And then Kelly gets back in the studio doing a fantastic job at, in master control. I want to thank everybody here tonight as the Delta St. John's Blue Jays knock off the Spencerville Bearcats one last time. It was 65 to 60. That's the final in tonight's game. For Josiah Stober, this is John Zerby saying so long, everyone.